why men begin to be disconnected is because the woman prevent him to express his masculine energy and the masculine energy want to pursue go after the prize Hey guys, it's Greta Berishita here and for the best relationship tips and advice please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell to be notified when I upload a new video every Wednesday and Sunday. So today I am with a wonderful Jean and we'll let Jean to introduce himself and he will share three tips that turns guys off in women. Okay, hello, I'm Jean and I'm here today to provide you with like uh, tips and uh, advices for to better yourself and things especially what to avoid when you are in a relationship or a date with a guy. So, uh, yeah. so the tip number one is... Tip number one is, I think that Greta will be agree with me, it's... Uh, number one thing that turn guys off is insecurity it's big no 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 it's like for a man when the woman is insecure she uh, emitted uh, energy and vibrations that are contrary to what attract a man so when someone is insecure you feel that you have some deficiency in value in worth and what guys are attracted to is something which is prized and you need to feel like the prize therefore a prize is something you have value so if you don't feel that you have internal value inside of you the guy will feel it and pick it up and you will not be uh, attracted to you as much as if you were not Ladies, you have to love yourself. It's really, really important to love yourself. Because when you, when you love yourself, a guy feels it too. And this is when he loves you too. So, yeah, it's true. Absolutely. Right? Mm. You yeah. know, self-love and self-abundance is the flow inside of you will uh, transpire outside as well. Therefore, whenever you give... Uh, love and care and when you have a high value and opinion of yourself rightful opinion of yourself but high value opinion of yourself it will exude a certain energy that will attract other people and man like a magnet and for this ladies I have a video which is called how does loving yourself will make him love you even more and you can find that video just by following the link right here and I will also drop it down in the description box so now uh, the second thing that turns you off in girls the second thing that me and I think for guys in general turn off is hyper neediness neediness is very very bad because neediness is like set of the wrong signal it set a signal that you are not confident with yourself and you try to uh, take the time of the other person and take uh, wherever the other person is you are basically like a vampire instead of to be in a relationship where you multiply the energy when you are in resonance with each other you become an energy vampire and it's very unattractive for anyone and especially in a relationship uh, to be with a man do you have a couple examples of needy needy women <laughs> needy women. what's the most uh, common one there is a lot of example of needy women <laughs> when a guy for example you uh, agree to see each other like the following week for example you were together and you say he say text you and he said like okay we need to see each, uh, each, uh, each other maybe you know in Sunday etc and uh, he will tell you when what you will do etc 
not even sometimes two minutes or two hours pass and the girl is already texting her, uh, texting him, but in certain ways that is feel like really that is insecure and needy. Is like you don't let him the time to have time for himself. Maybe he's busy, maybe he's doing something important, maybe he's people are surprised for you, who knows, but you don't let him the time to react, you don't let him the time to uh, get in connection with you and therefore is very disruptive for the relationship, is very negative, is a negative indicator for the man. Yeah, it all still comes down to insecurities because you're texting him first out of fear that he might get actually get a lot of girls saying I'm texting the guy a lot because I'm in a fear that he might find someone else to entertain him and I'm like this is not a way to go because you want a guy to like you for you you're the special one Absolutely. so why would you yeah why would you compete with other women like if if he's not that into you he's not that into you he needs to have a free right to go for someone else if he wants to but you cannot be there entertaining him so he wouldn't go to someone else absolutely the thing is like you need to understand uh, from what point you are doing something secure yeah yeah so if you do it in a fear mode it set off the signal that there is, you know yourself that there is something that is deficient in you. And therefore, the guy will begin to think, so, oh, actually, maybe actually there is something wrong. Yeah. And yeah. maybe it's actually not the right relationship mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. You want the contrary. You want to put off positive signal, positive energy, positive resonance. You need to attract someone you don't control people but you put out positive energy the right signal that will be attractive for the person to want to be with you yeah. you uh, use magnetism you don't use force and violence you will not cage man at the contrary you uh, are like you know sweet you uh, it's something you need to be someone who is desirable and you need to feel desirable and to be feeling desirable you need to be confident ladies if you're if you're a sweet right if you're let's say a box of delicious ice cream if you're gonna put yourself every single day is gonna get sick of the same ice cream <laughs> you know like stay special give it in bits and pieces not attention every single minute every single day yeah because yeah. actually something yeah. uh, when you are needy is like you require attention for him so you are like like a leech attention is not something negative when mm. it is shared when it is mutually wanted but the problem is like now you become like a leech like an energy mm -hmm. vampire and it's come from the fact that you know that you feel self-deficient maybe sometimes self-love deficient mm -hmm. and the reason why you have this neediness reflex is yeah. because you are not too secure in yourself and it's what you don't want to uh, put out you want to put out an image that you are confident and that you love yourself therefore that you are something prizy that you know that you have value and it what drives a man in instead of out okay so now the tip number three not the tip the reason yeah, the, tip. Say, the tip the tip number three what turns okay so now ladies the tip number three what turns guys off yeah so it's like what to avoid to not turn a man off the so number three i would say is not let him in take the lead not let him in to be a man Mm -hmm. Basically, what uh, happens often is like when you are in the first phase of a date, the man it is in full pursuit mode after you. And a lot of times why men begin to be disconnected is because the woman prevents him to express his masculine energy. And the masculine energy wants to pursue, go after the price. Yeah. And if you don't set uh, yourself as to be something of price, of value, it will lose interest. Yeah, ladies, if you will chase him, 
she can't chase you because like it's like the game of chase if i'm running after you you're running away like you can't chase me back if you want a guy to pursue don't chase him just do your thing put yourself first love yourself go for your goals go for your dreams and let him be a man let him charm you let him seduce you yes because man love to take initiative it's not bad to want to connect with him but what a lot of uh, often ladies do when they're not uh, let him take in the lead then after they go to full neediness and after he's overwhelmed mm -hmm. because he cannot express his masculinity mm -hmm. he want to do for example like a decision uh, on a date etc he didn't he said like we're gonna go there and there uh, if he asks you what do you think, you can give your opinion and your idea. Yeah. But if you try, for example, to al already define everything that you want to do, not let him uh, be in charge, is kind of an attractive because a man as well love to be in charge. He loves to do. The man love to lead, and you need to let him take the lead as well when you're on a date, as well when you propose something, it's good to let him take the lead and feel, let him feel that you validate what mm -hmm. you have to propose yeah. and not you which is uh, desperate to get something out of him as well. Exactly. Ladies also please watch my video why you should not pursue men but you can find it just by following the link right here and I will also drop it down in the description box. So, thank you so much, Jean, for coming and sharing the tips. Thank you for having me here. And ladies, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please press like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let me know in the comments below what did you think. And yeah, have a beautiful day. Kisses from see, London. See you soon.